This is Optimal Startup Daily, episode 134, How Do I Quit My Job? and How to Develop a Brand, both by Shalene Johnson of shalenejohnson.com. And welcome to Optimal Startup Daily. I'm Dan, I'm your host, and this is where I read to you from some of the best blogs on entrepreneurship. And today I've got two posts for you, so with that, let's get right to them as we optimize your life. How Do I Quit My Job? by Shalene Johnson of shalenejohnson.com. Do you have a passion that you've turned into a side business? Wouldn't it be amazing if you could turn that passion, the thing you think about 24-7 and tell everyone about, into what you do for a living? Imagine waking up each day excited to work and even getting butterflies when you think about it. That's how I feel about what I do, and I want to help others feel the same. So many people have a passion they've turned into a side business, and they want to quit their job to work on their passion full-time. That's great. Several years ago, I did the same thing, and I can't tell you how amazing it is to go to bed Sunday night excited to start work on Monday. But don't quit your day job just yet. This is a transition process, and there are certain steps you must take to eliminate the stress, ensure financial security, and make sure that your decision to quit your job is the right one. How to quit your job. Even if you hate your job, Keep it until you reach a point where you can go part-time or slowly transition out of what you're doing now. A lot of people get down on themselves and lose confidence when they don't have a job. A gradual transition makes the process less scary and relieves the pressure of immediately having to make the same amount of money you did at your old job. Keep working at your side business and, if possible, slowly cut down on your normal working hours or transition to part-time. This way, by the time you leave, you'll feel confident you can make it all on your own. Number two. Understand you must make sacrifices. The most common excuse I hear people make for not pursuing their passion as a career is they don't have time to work at it. If you really want to make your passion your full-time business, you have to make sacrifices. For instance, you'll have to give up things like lying around the house an extra hour on Saturday mornings, watching reality TV, or shopping. Or you might have to get up an hour earlier or stay up an hour later on weekdays to fit it in. But don't worry, these are minor sacrifices in the grand scheme of things. When you have the opportunity to have full control of your schedule and create the life you want and deserve, these minor sacrifices are easy to give up. Number three, reverse engineer how to make it happen. Now that you've set the goal, what exactly do you need to do to make it happen? Break down every task you must complete in order to build up your business to the point where you can quit your job. Research the steps, brainstorm on paper, and break each task down into baby steps. This way you can start putting a plan into motion and continuously work toward your goal. Number four, set a money milestone at which you can quit your job. How much does your business need to be making in order for you to replace your income from your job? You need to set a money milestone, an income level you must reach in order to quit your job. Keep in mind, this doesn't have to be the same amount you are making now. Because when you quit, you'll have 40 more hours to devote to your passion and your business will take off. So pick a number at which you can transition your full focus to your side business and work toward replacing your current income completely. Number five, create a schedule with deadlines and see them through. Once you've brainstormed the steps you must take and you've set your money milestone to work toward, create a schedule for this process. Set deadlines for each task and points you must hit in your business each month to grow it to where you can quit your job. Set hard and fast deadlines and stick to them. With focus, dedication, and consistency, it's totally possible to build up your passion, your side business, to replace your full-time job. Yes, it takes work, and you'll have to make some sacrifices to get there. But having control over life and waking up excited to spend each day doing what you love most is so worth it. And I'll have another post for you in just a sec. But first, if you're running a startup, you're gonna wanna hear this. We've been using Gusto for years and have no plans to change our payroll provider. You see, Gusto wasn't just built for small businesses. It was built for the people behind them. Their online payroll is so easy to use. Gusto can automatically calculate paychecks and file all your payroll taxes, which means you have more time to run your business. Plus, Gusto does way more than payroll. Gusto helps with time tracking, health insurance, 401ks, onboarding, commuter benefits, offer letters, access to HR experts, you get the idea. It's super easy to set up and get started. Three out of four customers say they run payroll in 10 minutes or less, our Optimal Living Daily team included. And if you're moving from another provider, 
they can transfer all your data for you. It's no surprise 94% of customers are likely to recommend Gusto. And here's the best part. Because you're a listener, you get three months totally free. All you have to do is go to gusto.com slash OSD. Again, that's gusto.com slash OSD. And I'm telling you, you're gonna love Gusto. Get started today. G-U-S-T-O dot com slash OSD. How to Develop a Brand by Shalene Johnson of shalenejohnson.com. So I've talked to you a lot about developing your brand and how important it is to magnify what makes you unique and different from the rest. What is it that you need to magnify to magnetically attract customers to you? More importantly, the right customers, the ones that will remain loyal to you and what you stand for. I want you to get a pad of paper and a pen ready because we're going to dive into some questions that will help you with this process. The first thing I want you to look at is what unique childhood or youth experience might be driving your passion or your competitive purpose. For me, personally, when I think about my career in fitness and health, I know that a big piece of what shaped me was that family members on both sides of my family were overweight, heavy, and always dieting. So early in my development, the message I received was that overweight people diet. So I've always believed that the best approach is to find a diet that is a lifestyle, a healthy way to eat and live your life. I also believe that it's critical you find exercise that you love and actually enjoy doing. My childhood experience is a big part of how I approach fitness, and it's important that I share my story because it shaped me into who I am today. You need to do the same. You have to share the piece of your story that has led you to have the beliefs you have today. What has happened in your life that has built your character and integrity? I know it can be uncomfortable to put yourself out there, but people will relate to your story. That commonality with you will then lead to trust. Next, what's one thing about you that you would say is a different perspective or a different approach versus what other people do? What are you doing that is different from what other people in your industry are doing? Maybe it's something you haven't thought about highlighting. Maybe it's something you actually are currently covering up. But the fact of the matter is, people will want to do business with you because you are doing things differently. What is it? Right or wrong, write it down. Next, what's the one thing that you believe is going to serve people that other people aren't doing? Why should people do business with you? Why should they visit your website? Now I want you to think in terms of real life for a second. Unplug. Outside of the virtual world, what attracts people to you? If you were to ask your friends, what is it about me that made you want to get to know me better? What about me do you find interesting? We were talking the other day about a friend who's in our circle that when she's around, the energy goes through the roof. This is what attracts people to her, her energy. I want you to think about what qualities you have that attract people to you. We're not talking about attracting traffic to your website. There are tons of programs for that. We're talking about figuring out how you're going to magnetically attract customers who are infatuated with you, interested and committed to staying with you for the long haul, for the lifetime of your business. In order to do that, people have to know who you are. You just listened to the posts titled How Do I Quit My Job and How to Develop a Brand, both by Shalene Johnson of shalenejohnson.com. And a big thanks to Shalene, who is regularly featured over on the podcast Optimal Living Daily. So check out that show for more from her. But I'll keep this ending nice and short for you today. I thank you for being here. And I'll see you tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.